Hey guys, what is going on? Steven back again, and I'm here with another Total War Warhammer 2 video. This time we're going over some information about the Dark Elves. So, Total War Warhammer 2's Dark Elves use slaves as currency. Now, this is an article from uh, PC Games. I will post a link in the description box below. And the article goes on to say, uh, Dark Elves, they're not very nice. Whether interpreted as teleporting anti-Asgardians or egotistical hedonists, you just do not want to meet one down a dark alley. Total War Warhammer 2's are no exception, and to prove a point, they won't be using gold or other trinkets as their primary currency. For them, it's all about the warm bodies. Uh, each race will have their primary currency will be flavored, explains Andy Hall, lead writer. So the Empire, for instance, was just gold, but vampires were dark magic, so you can imagine the Dark Elves not having much use for gold. To them, it's trinkets. But what they do, especially with each other, their currency is slaves. So I think we're going to go that route. Uh, that's not the only type of loot you will need in Warhammer 2. However, the new Vortex-based campaign will have its own. Alongside that, we have their ritual currency for the Vortex campaign, which is a really important secondary currency that you'll need to use to cast your rituals. Again, that's flavored and defined by the race you're playing. So for the Lizardmen, it's Sacred Plaques. And again, Dark Elves will have their own. Whatever that turns out to be, it won't be nice. It sounds like the Dark Elves will also have a few unique wrinkles when it comes to taking to the seas, which you'll be doing a lot more this time around. Two of our races, Dark Elves and High Elves, are really sea-going races. The Dark Elves especially, Hall says. In Warhammer lore, the Dark Elves are notorious raiders and pirates. They take to the seas in black arcs, vast fo uh, floating fortresses built on the backs of summoned sea monsters to abduct slaves. Perhaps this is what Hall means when he says, when he later says, there is a cool bit of sea-going IP with the Dark Elves that'd be weird if we didn't have it. Uh, we know naval battles will be auto-resolved, but since you'll be spending much more time on the seas in Warhammer 2, Creative Assembly have thrown in hazards such as storms and reefs to keep it interesting. I expect the Dark Elves and High Elves to have their own unique mechanics. So, very interesting information right there. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty creepy that Dark Elves are going to be using slaves as their form of currency. Um, but yeah, sounds. Uh, I'm definitely waiting to hear more information about the Dark Elves. I hope we get a trailer for them uh, pretty soon. I was kind of hoping we would have got one uh, during E3, but I mean, e 3s still going on. I think the 15th is the last day, so I mean... Maybe we'll get something. I'd like to see a trailer on them, but I have to wait and see. Um, I'd also like to see their um, army roster and stuff like that, what we're going to be getting for, uh, you know, different troop choices and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, that is all the information we have right now about the Dark Elves. Um, like I said, pretty creepy. They're going to be using slaves as a currency um, and whatever this secondary currency is going to be for the uh, the Vortex campaign, you know, because that's going to be tailored to their own tastes. Um, it will be interesting to see, uh, you know, more naval stuff. That will be interesting. Um, I do like the fact that they are throwing in storms and reefs and stuff like that uh, to keep things interesting. That's really interesting to see. Um, I wonder what type of mechanics they're going to have, because apparently they're going to get their own unique mechanics between the Dark Elves and the High Elves. So, again, more stuff to uh, keep an eye out for. But that's all we got for uh, right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. If you guys like the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'd like to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate all support. You can follow me on social media. Links will be in the description box below, along with a link to this article. And leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think about the Dark Elves? I'm kind of looking forward to playing them personally. Don't know why. Um, 
I don't know. I'm just looking forward to playing them the most. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's really creepy that they're going to be using slaves as their uh, type of currency. You know, just let me know what you guys think. But other than that, um, stick around, guys. More videos are on the way, and I will catch you guys next time.